hi guys so today we are making this beautiful bubu in the most easiest way possible that's what all this channel is about making beautiful outfits in the most easiest way possible okay so we are going to start this first of all i'm going to fold my fabric into four making sure that i leave about two or one and a half inch on the fold on the down part okay so when you fold it into four just push the front one back a little and leave some allowance on the down one like one or two inch allowance so you have four pieces but say the back is longer than the front then i'll take my length of the dress this is a long dress so i'm going to take my length from my shoulder to my ankle there but i want mine to be very cute so i'm making this same dress but in a very very cute style okay so i take my shoulder to shoulder measurement then i take my neckline width then i draw a straight line from my shoulder a slanted line from my shoulder to the end of my fabric so from my shoulder to shoulder will be my shoulder to shoulder measurement of course and then what is left of my fabric will be the sleeve this we are not going to cut a separate sleeve it's more of a kimono something so the sleeve is part of the entire dress so i've taken my shoulder to shoulder or shoulder to sleeve now i've taken my neck now i'm coming to take my around arm measurement my around arm i'm taking about i'm going down from the shoulder slants by around seven or eight inches since my arm is not that big and then go inside from there by one and then i'm going to slant from that um should i say armhole straight down to my ankle or the length of my dress but i'm not going to go straight i'm going to slant it because we want the down part narrow so i'm um, the down part is going to be more narrower than the top so that it give us that shape that we are looking for but before then i'm going to take my hip measurements i don't want a situation whereby after slanting i wear it and it's tight on my hip because this is a loose kind of a loose dress so i'm going to take my hip measurement or indicate my hip measurement so that when i'm slanting the lines i know that it is not passing through my hip measurement or there is more allowance around my hip measurement So I'm going to slant it down to the length of my dress. You can make this tapered as you want it or narrow as you want it. Because at the end of the day, the allowance we left for the down part of the fold is going to be we are going to create a slit in front of it so you can just narrow down your design as much as you want it because of the slit in front you still be able to move so after drawing my lines I just where we took the around um that small armhole we have there i just curved it in because i didn't want a sharp line then i'm going to cut through it so yeah this is basically it this is the whole cutting process of this dress so we are 70 percent done i'm going to trim the front allowance that i left that front allowance i left is for the slit in front 
so this two piece now i have two pieces one for the, the down part for the front and the top part for the back i wanted to make this as simple as possible that is why i didn't cut it separately because if you fold it this way i think it's easy and faster so i'm going to create um the neckline again for the front because we all know that the back neckline is higher than the front neckline so i'm going to go in again but a length like about three and then recreate my neck circumference again for the front side so that it wouldn't be strangling my neck So yeah, this is it. We are done with the cutting for the back and the front pieces. That is the front. <laughs> so I'm going to sew that allowance down straight, open it up and iron it. To create the slit that we want so guys this is the this is how the whole thing looks you see how narrow the down part is compared to the top part so this is how you're going to cut yours so I've finished during joining the front allowance that I left and then I'm going to hem that side with my hemming gum at the end of the day we are going to open it up and create that slit in front so i'm going to hem that entire area with my hemming gum i didn't want to sew it because i wanted a very neat finish from the front so that I wouldn't be seeing any um thread or lines in front so i'm going to hem it with my hemming gum all through and then afterwards just take the length that I want the slit to be and separate them <laughs> this is very 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 easy and fast to do okay so you see what I was talking about I didn't want any lines showing so as you can see from the front it's quite neat so now I'm going to join the neckline and then join the shoulders as well but first of all the trick in this booboo or this dress is the inside belt which will snatch your waist as in the picture that we saw that is the whole idea of the style there is an inbuilt belt or inside belt which you tie to snatch your waist side so i'm going to take from my shoulder to my waist measurement create a line and then take about two inches depending on the width of my belt so you take your waist measurement divided by four obviously then you mark your line where you're going to attach the, the 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 belt you do same for the other side because this is folded so when you open it you have the other side you do same for the other side and then you attach the belt from the mark on the mark lines so here i've joined the shoulders of turning my neck line and then i've inserted my belt as you can see you see where the belt is it is inside of the dress so from the outside you, you wouldn't see the belt but only you know that there's something snatching you from the inside so now I just left with um, just hemming my arm area and then joining the side and we are done as simple as easy and as fast as possible so I'm gonna hem 
my around arm and then join the sides and then show you how it looks after you can make yours as big as possible mine was quite cute as i wanted it to be I wanted to, it to be very very cute so this is how it looks afterwards very beautiful right yeah i love it i love it and it's so cute i love it you can make yours longer you can you can make yours um bigger than mine so that the sleeves will be longer but i just wanted it this way so it's it dependent on you how you want yours to um look like you can make use of three yards or more depending on how big you want thank you so much for watching